which is pure game. He's a great guy. He would never hurt anyone. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex girlfriends. Just what happened? You don't listen. No, this is crazy. Look at the camera. YouTube, what's going on? So apparently, uh, there's some new evidence that claimed that Andrew Tate is guilty. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of depressing to hear because I actually did like some of his messages, most of it at least. But, um, if you're guilty, you're guilty. Because this is a bold statement to put as a title. This one says, self-snitching. Andrew Tate admits to sleeping with minors. Gets new charges. That shit's crazy. They better have some good um, evidence, bro, because that's a crazy, crazy allegation right there. This is by Abba and Preach, of course. Love watching their videos. Let's get into it, though. Make sure that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe and let like, you do it. I'm putting my camera like right here for this one. Something like that. Since they both be like right here. Tates? Yeah. Yeah, they back in jail. They back in jail. Only for 24 hours. Just but what's nah, really man, important is what's... they're being charged Are they? with new additional stuff. So new... Romanian police what? Important is what's... they're being charged. Are they? Romanian police raid Andrew Tate's home over new allegations against... With uh, new additional stuff. So and you know sure what? Things. We told you guys this was going to happen. No. No. Yes. You said it. With these kinds of investigations. I was just about to say, I remember talking about it like a year ago. Investigations, I think people expect charges to be instantaneous, but that's just not the way police investigations work, mm -hmm. especially not ones on this governmental scale. Mm -hmm. Even look at the FBI. The FBI builds a case for four or five years before they charge someone. True. And when they charge you, best believe they bring the whole fucking roof down. That's why generally governmental charges from like big organizations like the FBI or things like that always stick is because they've done a lot of investigating. They've pulled on every thread. And what ends up happening generally with a lot of like criminal organizations, which is what they're alleging criminal... Andrew Tate is part of, is that when they pull on one thread, all of a sudden they start finding mm -hmm. different threads, and they find like, oh, organized crime, money laundering, tax evasion, mm -hmm. tra tra whatever it might be, and so that's so that's why they only held him for that long of the time that they did the first time, because those were only charges that he was charged for at that time. So it makes sense though, but why? Irrespective of how you feel about the investigation, when these things take a long time for charges to be laid, it's not because they don't have a case. That's why they always say here in the States specifically, is like, they bring a RICO charge against you, it's already over, because they already got everything they need. They got snitches, yeah. they got wiretaps, they got bank transfers, they got phone records. Exactly. So as in that, in other words, if you don't read between the lines, or if you can't read between the lines, he's cooked. He's cooked. As far as the other brother, I don't know. I'm not too sure, man. This should just say it. This literally just said Andrew Tate. Records, right? They generally do the things the same way. When they run into Rico on you boys, okay? When they're trying to take out a criminal organization, the process is slow. It is slow and long, but they gonna get your ass. When they run a Rico on your ass. You said that like they was running a train. Huh? The, it feels like it. It feels like it. Because they run in over 20, 30 people. So if you're unaware, Andrew Tate, all right, everyone's favorite sex offender, uh, is facing a tremendous amount of jail time. That's what he is, man. You have to remember, I'm not saying he's guilty because they found him guilty. I'm saying he's guilty because he, he self snitched. Said it. He said it. I think the one that really matters to people is the fact that they're being alleged to traffic underage people. Don't ask me. Loving minors. Just is watch insane. them talk. Two girls have claimed Andrew Tate approached them on social media when they still attended school. PhD is a pimp and hose degree. So the recruitment process is you message them on Instagram. I was contacted by Andrew Tate, the older of the Tate brothers, three years ago when I was just 16. Daria was 16 when she says she received a private message on Instagram two years ago from Andrew Tate's account. It read simply, Romanian girl, followed by a strawberry emoji. What do you inbox the woman? I live in Bucharest, Romania, but it doesn't matter if I'm in London, Bucharest, Moscow, anywhere I am. I just say, Bucharest, question mark or a Moscow question mark, or London question mark. Sometimes, because like I said, intrigue, I'll put a completely pointless emoji on the end. Some cherries, or an orange, or a strawberry. That's crazy, bro. But I'm gonna remain unbiased for right now. I asked around to my other friends and my classmates, who were also 15, 16 at the time, and a couple of them also told me they received messages. So I messaged her, she's like, I'm only 16. I was like, give a fuck. Not about me. It was a pretty. 
He just flat out said it. So I messaged her. She's like, I'm only 16. I was like, give a fuck. Not about me. It was a pretty well-known fact that he had kind of a network of young girls. I mean, it's like, what the fuck would I read for you? You've got a fit sister who's 16, maybe. Muslims have the best frame on earth. I want a virgin wife at 16 who's going to obey me. That's yeah. what I want. You know you said it looks like I'm an That's insane. And the fact that this is so long is crazy, bro. That's crazy. But no, I don't... I, th I still think it's weird throughout the fact that... I know that over there they do say things certain ways, I'm guessing. Like... It's normal for them to date 16 year olds for to a certain extent, I, I guess. I don't, I'm just talking out my ass right now. Honestly, I don't even know about that. But I know somewhere it's, it's tradition to marry your daughter off young to a rich, wealthy man. And I, I don't know if that's there, but if it's not, that's crazy. Even if it is, it's kind of crazy as well. But yeah. A teenage girl's bedroom. Yeah. To, to some people, that would be an insult. But to me, I find that quite flattering to be honest you know like that's exactly what you'd expect like. i'm fucking all these 15 year old you know who one of the guys was that was candace owens husband you know how candace owens always defended this guy yeah it's because her husband's really good friends with this dude oh. so she's talking about he's such a good man yo if they weren't buddy buddy or part of the same fucking scam these people would never associate with a dude like this who's a self-proclaimed pip loves to bang 15 14 year old 60 they don't care that's Bro, crazy that's when I see a conservative and they defend Andrew Tate, I know they have no principles or values. Because literally his whole life has been the antithesis of any kind of conservative traditional mm -hmm. value. Dudes out here pimping girls, defrauding men. Basically, he self-admits too. I had these guys selling their houses, life savings, loans, all of it to me. Give me it all. You guy, feel bad or no? Fuck no. You give a solitary f I don't care. I used to take lonely men and take 100000 for them through my webcam yeah. business and like I enjoyed it because, like, give me your money, your piece. What kind of moral person does that? But I've got my main, my bottom, Vivian. So Vivian here. Yeah. That's how it started. I met Vivian in, in Slovakia. We had a long-term relationship thing. I was living in England. I moved her to England to be with me to start doing my webcam company. So Vivian's been with me six years. So he's been with Vivian for six years, right? Because Vivian's younger. Vivian's like 21. Vivian's 21. And at this point, he's had her, he's been a girlfriend for six years. There's a video. So she was 15. Video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. From 10 years ago, 10 years ago. I didn't say the word list. Did I say listen? Hello everyone, um, I just wanted to say something about the video that's been released recently about me and my ex-boyfriend Andrew Tate. Andrew is my still great friend, what you guys saw on the video, it's just what we used to do, it was just pure game. He's a great guy, he would never hurt anyone. There's a video from 10 years ago that showed me in a sexual act with one of my ex-girlfriends. Just what you don't listen. No, this is crazy. Look at the camera. Why are you getting hit? You do the math. I don't wanna. That's insane. You do bro. the math. I don't wanna. She was basically 14, 15 when they got into a relationship. That yeah. means when did he start talking to her? When she was 14. Or earlier. Depending on how long that shit took. Think about that. Think about this. Coconuts and Barbados. You know, so far, the, we, we <laughs> haven't said what Barbados. we thought. We didn't say what we thought. We didn't say nothing about that. I didn't say it. He didn't say it. We just gave you facts. Not facts are coming out from us. Yeah, that's crazy. But facts are coming from them. Just based on the facts. Yeah, that's that's tough, bro. That I'm, I usually try to be unbiased as possible, but bro, the evidence is right there, bro. He snitched on himself. He literally just snitched on himself, literally. All right. If you still defend him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, these guys will defend if, him. Sorry, go ahead. If okay. you still defend him, you're a whole ass creep. You're as bad as him to me. If After seeing this, you're like, well, well, there's something really wrong with you. What were you saying? These guys all, the, the, the type of people who defend him are anti-establishment. You know, they, they, they want to stop the They have a problem with Epstein and all this stuff. 
I'm like, what did Epstein do? Well, I mean, he had a whole organization about trafficking and getting young girls, getting young girls and putting and them on having, islands. Yeah. And, and isn't whole... that exactly what Tate's doing? Mm-hmm. So because Tate repeats what they like, they defend him, but they whine about Epstein and people like Epstein all the time. Tate is no different. Tate's no different. He's just changed his grift. He realized he was going to go under, so he changed his plan. He realized there's more money with Hustlers University getting off, like tens of millions from fucking weirdos who think they're going to learn something and somehow better than college, right? So he just changed his grift. He changed his lingo. Because yeah. now he's all about male self-improvement and all this other stuff. Back in the day, he was loving the fact that he was taking men's, lonely men's money. He didn't give a shit. They want to protect kids. They want to protect kids, but they didn't mind going after little teenagers and converting them for their sex operation. Okay? L- listen to this. That's why I always say this, bro. The richest people out there are the most evil, and they, they, they do the most, like, heinous shit that you would never even imagine, bro. I've seen it. Been around it. I'm telling you, it's, it's crazy, bro. It's like taking the virginity of a really beautiful woman. I get to have this experience, and no one else gets to have it again. It is a little bit better, but the real pleasure is in the fact that somebody else would love to have this, and I get it. That's why this is good. That makes sense. I'll give you that. I agree with that. When you are in the true abundance mindset of you can have the pick of the crop, you can have the world's most attractive women. I mean, one of my main chicks has 200,000 Instagram followers, and I took her virginity when she was 17. It's an abundance mindset. Yeah. I have so many girlfriends and so many wonderful girlfriends and so many virgins. She is a Polish. She was a Polish virgin. Man, it, it hurt her at every moment that I was <laughs> doing it, but it felt good for me. So who gives a shit? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. No, that, this is this is legitimately insane. So what? They got money laundering on him now, which we told you guys they were going to do. Why? Because this dude admitted to money laundering. Not because I think so. It's in his own shit. Look. He gave he gave a, a class on how to do it. And he and the prime example of how he was doing it was him. Same thing with the other stuff. So, so we did this video a while back. Now, I want you guys to see this, okay? Not my opinion about him doing the money laundering. This is him. So Andrew Tate says, you're not stupid. And you and he's talking to one of the victims. You're not stupid. And you can probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I'm really doing. And the victim says, the webcam? And he says, I've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. Some of the girls who worked for me, I used them to do other things to move money or illegal things, documents. And I will never do that with you. Basically telling the girl. So what do you think happens when they grab his cell phone, they look through all the records, they see these texts. What do you start thinking they start doing? They start pulling financial records. They start demanding that banks send them stuff because they think this is part of a criminal investigation. The reason why he got charged for the other stuff and not this until now is because the process for actually finding every detail that they need to confirm the money laundering, because it's part of a large- It took a lot longer. You think Andrew Tate and his five subordinates are the other ones getting charged? No, there's other people on the other end of this who are getting charged. Yeah, do I believe that these guys go for underage women? Absolutely. Like I said, dudes who obsess with going after virgins, dudes who obsess with 16, 15, close to line, you think they actually care if their girl's a year or two below it? You think they care if it's illegal? They already say they don't care about the law. They don't care about... Ro- I don't feel bad for these guys being in jail. They chose Romania. They think it's a fucking joke. This is them talking about what they think about the law. And- Romanian courts so this Get me out of jail. So law says you're guilty. I said get me out of jail. I'll go see a lawyer to talk about the law. I have committed multiple felonies. How much does it cost to make this all go away? Like I said, I don't feel bad for these guys. What are we talking about? These guys are scumbags. Okay. By their not based off what I think, what they say. They scumbags. And anyone to sit here, any grown man who wants to sit here and advocate for dudes who love taking the virginities of 14, 15 year olds while they're in their mid thirties, any dude who wants to advocate that, I hope I lose you as a fan too. Y'all some weirdos, okay? 
And all these dudes clamoring for this stuff. Just say you don't give a shit about women. They say, that's fine. Just say that. Okay? Say that. Just, just move on. So we just know you hate. Nah, this video is insane, bro. I didn't know about this. I didn't know about that. That right there. None of this. I knew about the money laundering a little bit. I heard about that like a little while ago. That shit was insane. But this is more in-depth. Ladies, this is crazy. It. But I'm not interested in having a conversation with people who want to just do this whole running defense for sex traffickers. For dudes who obsess over having underage women. These guys are sex offenders and that's what they are. So, that's what I think about this. What you think about this? Coconuts and Barbados. Hey, listen, I'm the guy behind the scenes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm the guy behind the scenes and I coconuts in jail they would never Throw let a fresh and fit live that's all I gotta <laughs> say about that hey guys and there's way more there's there's their criminal enterprise is fucked up with the whatsapp message that they have the women threatening the girls to either work or they get beaten up these dudes are definitely going to jail the question is just how long yeah. the question is how long and who are they taking with them you guys remember when they first came out, they said, oh, this shit going to go away. Da, da, da. They're going to be free in no time. Two to three later. Back just, street, back. All right. There's just more charges. Yep. Yeah. This is not going to go away. They're not getting out of this. And unless they run away from Romania somehow and escape, which I don't think they can because they're under surveillance all the time, it's over for these guys. They just wasted yeah, a bit of time before they go in for good. And you know, when they go in, what I'll say, good riddance. We kept dangerous men off the streets, and that's always a good thing for the community. Yeah, I'll say this though: it is one thing to make your money in a successful way and be a millionaire. That's a hell of an achievement. But I feel like it's less of an achievement whenever you like doing sleazy shit like this, when it involves other people's lives. So like, that's sleazy as hell. I don't, I don't really agree with that. But let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section, man. Make sure that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe, and we're gone. Peace.